Oh man, I have been putting this off for a very long time, but it's finally time to fix my biggest garden mistake. And it's not the planter itself, we love the tower. It's the soil that I used in it. So I planted this back in the spring and nothing's really thrived because I took a risk and I decided to experiment with a new type of soil. Not Coast of Maine, this is our favorite. What's what we're using to replace the bad soil. But nothing's really doing well in here. And so now that it's fall, it's time to get a fresh crop in here anyway. So we're gonna do a hard garden reset on this green stock garden tower. Some of these tiers don't have anything growing in them anymore at all, but I'm going to try to salvage what I can from what is still growing in here. So let's do a quick tour before we actually rip everything apart. Okay, I've actually pulled this forward um, to get it out of that corner so we can work with this better. And I'm just gonna start with the top three rows. The first row, I did strawberries. They did fine, actually, and they're still thriving away. Um, but I am probably going to move these just because it's kind of like a one and done plant for us here in New England. I don't get a second flush of these. I'm gonna move them somewhere else so that they can grow again next year. And then on the second tier, I have this eggplant that hasn't done anything. The herbs have been okay. So I've got parsley, lemon balm. I think this is a daylily that needs to come out. I don't remember what this flower is called, but it's something related to purslane. It's edible, but it does not taste good, which is true for a lot of edible flowers, actually. Some more lemon balm down there. And then I have this hot pepper, another eggplant. I think this is supposed to be a Cuban owl, but it got real wonky, and these are just so leggy. Habanero. So this is kind of my pepper row, but I think this is a Thai basil. So that's the first three. And then on the bottom, things get real ugly. <laughs> this is just a lot of dead stuff. I think this was lemon thyme, which like if I killed that, what else? This was impatience, but they're not flowering. This was chives. And again, they're just really stringy and sad. And I had a tomato in here and it has exactly one tomato on it. I, I don't think this one's gonna make it. So. What actually went wrong here is I used this soil that had a really high amount of wood chips in it. And so the wood chips biodegraded and attracted all of this fungi, which normally is a good, but in this case, there was just too much stuff breaking down. And so the whole thing is just like rotting. Like it, there's just a lot of, well, there's a lot of life, but there's also a lot of death and it's just not thriving. So, so we're going to try switching out that soil because these are nice deep pockets. They're like a good 10 inches deep. None of these plants should have any trouble growing at this depth with high quality soil. So we're going to salvage what we can and then do some seeds for fall. So this thing is really easy to set up, but I am kind of dreading taking it apart because I really got like the, the self watering hose on this side, like dialed in and this whole thing is gonna have to unclip, whoa. And this is the other big reason I'm dreading this. There is a huge spider that I knew about that's been living in this top water reservoir part. She's watching me right now. So we're gonna see if we can gently move this, but I see she's got some babies in here and she looks like she is on the defense. So, oh, I know mama, I know. Oh boy, oh, you do have babies in here. I'm so sorry. She is looking for those babies. I feel so bad. I'm gonna have to try to gently relocate them. I've tried to reunite her with the eggs, so we'll see how that goes. Now that mama's moved, we know this is empty and we can unhook it. These are just held in with little clips, so should just, yep, pop right off. But these next tiers are heavy and I forgot to shut off the watering this morning. So they're full of water. Ugh. So many spiders and bees. I'm disturbing your whole ecosystem. I'm so sorry. Lower, it's easier for sure. Okay, so I have all the individual components separated out. But I wanted to show you what I mean here about when decomposition can be a bad thing. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's a lot of tiny little gnats in that soil. And that's not gonna be good for the plant's health. So even though some decomposition, some fungal activity is okay, in this case, it's not what we want. This is why I've been putting this off because now I have to carry these somewhere and dump this soil. <laughs> so I'm gonna go as close as I can as possible, like 15 feet away and just dump it. And hopefully that's, Enough. God, this is heavy. That's far enough. Oh. Oh. 
All right, we've reassessed because that was not accessible for us chronic illness girlies. So we're dumping into the wheelbarrow. And then I will pour it out somewhere else eventually. I've made a huge mess. And another thing I've noticed is the soil smells really bad, like rotten. So I need to rinse these pretty thoroughly before I refill them. break because the camera overheated and I overheated and honestly I'm just getting more and more disheveled as this video goes on so it wasn't that interesting anyway I just filled the rest of the planter boxes up and I did my seeds so I'll walk you through exactly what's planted and then I'll show you how I attach the self-watering system so like I said on the bottom we did replanted those peppers the parsley and the Thai basil on the second row we did the squash and then I did alternating um, Swiss chard and black Spanish radishes. I did some spinach on this row and up here I did bok choy and endive. So these are all great cool season crops that will germinate really quickly. We only have like 50 days left in our season before the first frost so I had to be pretty strategic about what I put in here. Our last step is to add the top water reservoir which I have right here and it snaps in just like the other sections do. Really simple. And then we want to be careful because we've got Mama Spider in here still. Mama Spider and her babies. But we're going to put this right back the way it was. And hopefully we don't disturb her too much. That just rests right there. And then we have our self-watering system. Of course, we'll connect the hose down at the bottom. But it just rests right here. And then it has these clips that snap on. Thank you. 